to remove this dome light which is on the the x3 here you have there's two screws in here it's a t1.5 first we're going to use a plastic pry tool to remove this little cover to yeah, the screws don't lose that this is again is a t1.5 just unscrew this so i don't lose it There it is, two T1.5 screws, and then you're going to need a flat screwdriver and push in the uh, the levers here. There's a there's a two metal clips that squeeze clips. Push, see, push here, and there it is. That's all it is, and it pulls out this way. So this is the metal clip that clips onto here pushing in to release it from that grip this thing now that we have that removed it's just hanging there we're gonna run this wire to the camera so the, the way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it through here I'm trying to feed it through so I'm the good thing is this thing is pretty uh, it's easy to remove so you can actually get your finger in there if it's got it. There it is. There. Go there. Here's the camera. I'll plug this in. Okay, I did several tests here. I just use uh, alligator clips. One going to ground, the other one finding out which one's positive pin actually turns on with the en engine or when the door opens. I can't find one with the ignition on because they all seem to turn on every time there is any type of unlocking of the car or coming into the car. The one was able to draw, was able to tolerate the draw for the dash cam is this one this red wire it looks like with red with yellow stripe let's see here red with yellow stripe that's the one that seems to work okay now that we have the option for the positive wire um, I decided I'm just gonna solder the other wire in a red and yellow stripe for positive for the negative side I found this bolt here this green bolt it's screwed right into here into chassis ground that's what i'm going to use for the uh for the ground yeah this is ground so you could actually use this for ground also if you want to tap but i figured i'd just use that bolt up there all right so that's the wire with the hoop that i'm going to install the red one will be soldered onto here. This black one will be bolted in for a chassis ground. It's a 10 millimeter, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. Just snug because I don't have the torque specification for this. So I'm just gonna, and it's going into uh, sheet metal. So the other one I'm gonna put right here and solder it together. But this is the only, this is the only method the only power source I have that does eventually shut down compared to having to run my own wire. Put this back. There, so green light. So this is going to be positioned right here. What I did is I hide the wire, the roll of wires, the excess wire, right here, and put it right here above the top. And most likely this is where this one is going to go too. Just slide it right into here, up right behind the back. There's plenty of room there. 
clean up the wires. Now we put everything back. Straight forward there. There it is. Done.